We're asked to solve the given initial value problem y prime plus two x to the power of negative one y equals four x and y of one equals two. The first step is to recognize that we have a linear first order differential equation in standard form. But let's rewrite y prime as dy dx and let's write two x to the power of negative one as two divided by x. This gives us dy dx plus two divided by x times y equals four x. Notice how in standard form p of x is the function of x being multiplied by y. In our case, p of x equals two divided by x. We need to recognize this so that we can find the integrating factor. Where for step two, the integrating factor of mu of x equals e to the power of the integral of p of x dx. In our case, mu of x is equal to e to the power of the integral of two divided by x dx. Integrating, we have e raised to the power of two natural log absolute value of x. We leave off the plus c when determining the integrating factor. From here, we will use the log property where we can move the coefficient of two to the position of the exponent on x, which gives us e to the power of natural log of the absolute value of x squared. Because we have an exponential term with base e, and the exponent is log base e, this simplifies perfectly to x squared. In this case, the integrating factor is x squared. For step three, we multiply both sides of the differential equation by mu of x, or in our case, x squared. This gives us x squared times dy dx plus, let's write this as two divided by x times x squared y equals x squared times four x. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have x squared times dy dx plus, notice here, one factor of x simplifies out, giving us plus two xy equals on the right we have four x cubed. Looking at step four, now the left side of the differential equation is the derivative of the product of the integrating factor and y, which means we can write the left side as the derivative with respect to x of, again, mu of x and y, or the integrating factor in y, which would be x squared y. So this derivative is equal to x squared times dy dx plus two xy equals, on the right side we still have four x cubed. Finally, step five, we now integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Integrating on the left side, the integration undoes the derivative and we're left with x squared y. Equals on the right side, we have four times x to the fourth divided by four plus c. Let's continue on the next slide. Simplifying, we have x squared y equals x to the fourth plus c. Next step is to solve for y by dividing both sides of the equation by x squared. Which gives us y is equal to x squared plus c divided by x squared. So here's our general solution. And now that we know that y one is equal to two, we substitute one for x, two for y, and then solve for c to find the particular solution. So subbing in one for x and two for y, we have two equals the square of one plus c divided by, again, the square of one, which gives us two equals one plus c. Subtracting one on both sides, we have c is equal to one. Now to find a particular solution, we substitute c equals one into the general solution which gives us y or y of x equals x squared plus one divided by x squared. I hope you found this helpful.